turkey roasting? Check. You, uh, you sure your mom is okay with you not going home for the holiday? Oh, yeah. I told her how excited I was to experience my first fairy bounty banquet in Big Apple City. A small, delicious celebration. Ugh. Uh, and Praline, um, do we have any extra space for the banquet? Uh, how much space are we talking about? Oh, just my friends and also their entire families. Did you invite their entire family, Strawberry? Well, I want every berry there. Me familia es tu familia. Me? There's not enough space. There's not enough time. There's not enough food. It's impossible. Did you just say impossible? Yes. There is no way we can do this. I'll just, I'll text them. I'll tell them I made a mistake and ruined every berry's, you know, time. Impossible is what the women in our family are all about. Impossible's my jam. We've got our work cut out for us. When things go wrong, then we adjust. If it's tough, don't get stressed, that's when we're at our best. And if your world feels like it's crashing down, we'll turn it back around. We'll turn it back around. If life knocks you down, knocks you down, you get back up. If it knocks you down, knocks you down, you get back up. Turn it all around, all around, and get back up. If life knocks you down, knocks you down, you get back up. up. seem impossible but trust me we're unstoppable the two of us won't ever fall get out of our way together we are number one turn problems into something fun before you know it will be done we're saving the day don't ever think that you're going under we never give up very show them that thunder and if your world feels like it's crashing down Amazing, fabulous, shockingly efficient. Yeah, we really are. Not to mention lucky. <laughs> you were saying? who are organized, precise, who love making lists. All right, berries, it's not gonna be easy, but I've strategized a path to victory. Your assignments. Oh, that's not so bad. Oh, oh, oh. Before the day is done, the berry works is going to shine. And when we're finished, I have a big surprise for you. <laughs> surprise? <laughs> Whee! Kind of intense about cleaning, huh? Yeah. I'm going to go mop the high line. Woohoo! Well, cleaning is important, and who doesn't love a surprise? Whoa! This will be fun. This is not fun. We are never going to finish. Never fear, Barry. With my Dream Clean 3000, we'll be enjoying that surprise in no time. Not. You're not getting
getting done today. Lime will be pretty disappointed if this place doesn't look amazing. Plus, no surprise. <sighs> if only we had an old abandoned office that no berry used where we could stuff everything to deal with later. Then the berry works would be clean, the lime would be happy, and we would get our surprise. Why are you all looking at me? <gasps> Can you see my aura? What color is it? We can stick everything here in Jay Quincy Cupcake's old office! I don't know. We'll still do everything Lime asked. We'll just do it later. Oh, Jay Quincy's ghost says that sounds like a delicious plan. He said that? Uh, maybe we should start moving stuff? Uh... Whoa! You're even better cleaners than I thought! Ready for your surprise? <laughs> Follow me! <laughs> Uh -huh. Um, Lime, where are we going? This is going to be the best surprise ever! Lime! Wait! No! <laughs> this is how you cleaned up? <laughs> Red Pudding said if we cleaned out Jay Quincy's office, we could make it our own special hangout spot. Surprise! But I guess you all found another use for it. Wait, Lime! Oh, I feel awful. What should we do? What we should have done in the first place. Come on, berries. we messed up and feel awful that we ruined your surprise. So to say we're sorry, we have a surprise for you. Open your eyes. You berries put everything. Uh. A fresh new day, sweet dreams to chase. This berry's on a mission to bake her world a better place. She'll make a difference, see it through. Show the world what she can do. She's strawberry shortcake. Country pie. I love it. Things are going fantastic at the Big Apple Berry Works. Apparently, every berry loves my authentic down home baking. I heard about I heard that it is so. Ooh, look at me. I'm a simple country berry. I make simple pastries for simple people. And I dress too matchy matchy. What? She does. I don't care how she dresses. She is taking all my customers. We need to show this country pumpkin how things work in Big Apple City. Why? We're your neighbors. I'm Raspberry Tart. That's my truck over there. Oh, and uh, this is Sour Grapes. That's your truck? Oh, and gumdrops. <gasps> so pristine. Wow. It is nothing compared to this thing you've got going on. <laughs> You're the freshness berry on the block. Oh, thank you. So, what can I get you, new food truck friend? Strawberry pie? <gasps> Strawberry strudel? Pano strawberry. That's a new one. We'll take everything you've got left. Everything? Eee! Ooh, uh, 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 uh. I sold out. Who did it? Me, I did it. <gasps> I hope this whole small town country berry thing doesn't get old. What do you mean? Well, this is Big Apple City. You've got to keep things fresh, or customers just move on. 
country berry bit is cute today, but if it starts to feel stale, it's... Bye-bye, berry. Oh. Shortcakes, what's wrong? I sold out of everything. That's awesome! Awesome today. Tomorrow? Bye-bye, Barry. Hmm. My country Barry bit will get old! Barry's will get tired of my baking! The universe put you here for a reason. Why would you think that? <gasps> Mystery solved. Look! Um, <laughs> Come on down to the Raspberry Supreme for authentic country treats. Yeehaw. No, they did not! Come on, shortcakes. We're fixing this. Raspberry tart, what did you do? What? Berries like my authentic treats better than hers. Your treats? Those are my treats! You bought them and stole my whole, uh, my whole vibe! How dare you! Your treats were strawberry. Mine are a strawberry and raspberry and have a bow. See, anyone can do country, and the fairies have spoken. Oh, hello, Strawberry Shortcake. You're from the country. Are these authentic? Um, well, the berry who baked these definitely knew what she was doing. <laughs> Maybe a bit heavy on the raspberry. Mm. Ooh-wee, if y'all like mixing flavors, how about I whip up a batch of my authentic every berry country coffee cake to give you city berries a real treat? Oh, <laughs> Raspberry made me feel like being myself wasn't enough. But then she tried to steal everything that made me, me. You can try passing my treats off as yours, but there's only one authentic Berryville baker in Big Apple City. And she's not going anywhere. Bye-bye, mm -hmm. Berry. I am going to squash that berry. Go get me a napkin. Okay, put that there. Over here, yes. Um, okay. Or here? Oh, I don't know. How are you settling in at the Berry Works? Still a little nervous. Nervous? Me? <laughs> no. <laughs> what, would, what would make you think that? Well, you've moved those same bowls back and forth ten times. I've been here like a minute. Oh. Pre-baking nerves run in the family. Fortunately, I knew just what she needed. Here, this should help. A gift? Woo! And Praline, you didn't have to get me a... <coughs> a dusty old spoon. Huh. Thanks. This is, uh... What baker doesn't need an extra spoon? Hmm? No berry. No berry has a spoon like this one. It's been passed down in our family from baker to baker, berry to berry. It's special. Lucky. And it'll be your most prized appliance <laughs> once you get the hang of it. Ha! Get the hang of it. It's a spoon. Let's begin. Ah! 
total truth, Barry. I did think the spoon was kind of weird at first, but holding it makes me feel like generations of bakers have my back while I bake. Check it out. This spoon has definitely upped my game. Mm, mm. Yes, I can hear them now. The family is definitely proud. And now that I've mastered the ways of the spoon, I feel like I can handle whatever the berry works throws at me. Oh, mastered. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. Oh, come on. <laughs> I mean, what else could there possibly be to... Uh, That's enough for today, young Barry. It takes a lifetime to truly master the spoon. My costume is perfect. Fright Ball is all about being scary, and a scarecrow literally scares crows! <laughs> right, Custard? I overheard Raspberry Tart and the other Mean Berry saying they didn't think I would even wear a costume to the annual Frightfall Ball. They clearly don't know this berry. Let's show these big city berries no berry does Frightfall like we do. Why are we the only ones dressed up? <coughs> this is my nightmare. Shortcakes, what are you wearing? It's a Frightfall Ball. Why isn't every berry dressed up? No, this is Peach Trifle's fall ball. But Raspberry Tart said... <laughs> <laughs> nice costume. You're definitely the scariest thing at this party. <laughs> yeah, you really need to stop listening to her. What is going on over here? I'm Peach Trifle. This is my event. You are? Strawberry Shortcake. I'm a scarecrow, and this is my crow, Custard. We're dressed up for Frightfall. Ta-da! Costumes and cheap scares aren't really what I'm known for. I throw the grandest parties in Big Apple City. Every berry loves them. No offense, but maybe your party could use some costumes and cheap scares. Excuse me? It couldn't hurt to try. The harvest moon hangs in the sky. Scarecrow scare as crows fly by. Somewhere close, a howling cry. Right time has begun. This night feels so mysterious. Chills and thrills in store for us. Don't take it too serious. It's time to have some fun. It's a frightful night, so chill and delightful. Shortcake, Big Apple City's annual fall ball is no more. From this year forward, I shall throw the Fright Ball Frightacular! <laughs> it's a brand new day, Custard! Gotta get dressed! Sorry, forgot to say 
good morning, Custard. How rude of me. It's my first weekend in Big Apple City! I have to explore, see the sights, take it all in. It's gonna be magical. Or maybe not. Whoa, whoa, what happened to exploring the city? Yeah, the city feels a little too big for this old country, Barry. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay in today. No, ma'am, I mean, sure, the city can seem big and scary, but you have to get to know it and let it get to know you. Big Apple City is no ordinary city, and you are no ordinary Barry. So get out there and show the city what you've got. new start, a dash of nerves, a pinch of fear. I feel my heart beating fast because I'm here. Where to start? What should I do? Big Apple City, how are you? There's so much here to see. And I'd like to introduce you to me. Right? This place can be your paradise! Okay, what's next? Where should I go? So many friends to get to know. You know this city life is pretty sweet. And there's so many awesome berries still to meet. Cause I'm no ordinary berry. There's so much I wanna be. I am more than just one flavor. I'm a complicated recipe. Big friends and bigger dreams. And I'm here to Winter swirl tree. <sighs> All right, let's get to it. Mm, quick question. Why is Sour Grapes attacking the tree? She decorates it every year. Winter swirl. <laughs> Whoa. Deck the halls. This tree is like my soul. Winter swirl trees should be magical, glowing beacons of hope! Isn't there any berry else who could... Hold the scone. I've got an idea! Lemon would be great, but she's gonna say no. Why? Lighting a tree seems like a totally lemon thing to do. Whoever decorates the tree has to give a speech at the tree lighting. Lemon? Not really an outgoing berry, so why are you making that face? You know who is an outgoing berry? Me! <laughs> who better to turn Lemon into the perfect public speaker? Hi! Yeah, we 
we've decided you're decorating the winter swirl tree this year. <gasps> no, 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 no. I don't do speeches. But you can make this place look more amazing than any other berry. Oh, that is true. And the speech? Pfft, easy once we turn you into a speech-giving machine. Please? Oh. Speech-giving machine activated. Ugh, that sounded better in my head. Fine. What do I do? Use descriptive words. You aren't lighting a tree. You're illuminating the spirit of the season. Uh -huh. Look every berry in the eye with a look that says, hey, you, listen to what I'm saying. Uh -huh. If you get nervous, just think of every berry in their underwear. Gross. And last but not least, smile, be yourself, speak from the heart, and you'll be perfect. You get all that? Uh. Great! Show us what you've got. <gasps> hey there. Arr! So... Arr! I, uh, wanna illuminate the... Lots of spark berries. Underwear! We all have it! In summary, trees. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay, that was... Well, see, this is why I never wanted to light the tree in the first place. The thing about being an outgoing berry is sometimes you forget not every berry is as outgoing as you. Um, Lemon? I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk at all. I know, I know. Just, just listen. I shouldn't have tried to force you to do something you didn't want to do. You're perfect just the way you are. You're just so good at decorating, huh? Yeah, well, if I didn't have to give a speech, I'd love to. Why are you making that face? The thing about being an outgoing berry is you can speak up for your friends who don't like speaking as much by getting rid of silly rules like having to give a speech. <laughs> My pal Lemon is going to let her work speak for itself. <laughs> <laughs> now that was an awesome speech. Yeah, I am pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs>